Arrow, <laughs> I'm looking at that that screenshot. That looks like me at WHEB Radio in Portsmouth, New Hampshire in 1980. Wow, dude, that was 1978 in my bedroom in Billings, Montana. No kidding. So it was in that same time frame. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be damned. Yeah. Cause that's evil Knievel behind me. And then there's a Frampton comes alive album right there beside me. Oh, we both had the same hairstyle in, in the late seventies, early eighties. <laughs> well, this, this project that you're on with Mr. Rogers music and memories, this has to be one of those moments in your radio life where you're going, Oh my God, I really get to share the story of the songwriter. Yeah, that's that's very true. And and it was such a, a gift that came to me out of left field because Dennis Scott, the producer of the album mm -hmm. and the previous compilation album of Mr. Rogers songs for which Dennis won a Grammy Award. I, I was aware of that album. So when he reached out to me initially to host a companion DVD, I was on board right away. And then when they revised it to just focus on the music and Dennis said, can you sing? <laughs> I, I, you know, I've got I've got a, a range that I'm comfortable in. So I actually recorded on my iPhone me singing a cappella to one of Fred's songs, and then it said, "Okay, you're in. You're in." <laughs> well, that is is that really you whistling in that video? Yeah. Oh my yeah, God, is. that's incredible. If you go, if you as thank you, Arrow. If you go on my website, TomBergeron.com, you can actually see we recorded the whole session where I improvised whistling to the title tune. And I just, I love to do that. I was, I was mentioning to somebody that when I was in high school working in a supermarket stocking shelves, I would literally whistle while I worked <laughs> until this old woman came around with her carriage and said, Oh, I thought they let a canary loose in here. <laughs> you got to work with the Cowsills on this project. I was just recently with them. I love their spirit and personality even today. Yeah. You know, the Cowsills, uh, Rita Wilson, of yes. course, who is a wonderful recording artist and actor and whose husband, Tom Hanks, played Fred Rogers uh, in the yep. film back a few years ago. Uh, we've got uh, John Cicada, Kelly Pickler, Vanessa Williams, Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis Jr., Lee Greenwood. Just, you know, it, 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 in the ad for the uh, album, it says uh, music icons, like, and, and then my name shows up. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of those icons is Mickey Dolenz from, from The Monkees. Yes, I thought, wow, yes. that was unbelievable with this song, because I've never heard this side of his singing ability. Yeah, and it was great to sort of reunite with Mickey because the two of us had done, an, done a promotional thing for Arc Light Cinemas a few years prior to the Mr. Rogers album where we recreated scenes from The Big Lebowski. Yeah. And uh, and I played basically uh, um, uh, one character and then he played he played uh, who was John Goodman's character. Uh, yeah. It was fun. Wow. So on the Lee Greenwood song, I've, I've had a conversation with my wife. She thinks it's Kenny G. I say it's Dave Cause. Who's on that on that wind instrument? Oh, that's a good question. That's a question for Dennis Scott. We should get him on the horn because <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was, you know, I was singing to a track uh, when I recorded my cut. So I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure who actually backed the other performers. Now I've been in the studio with tracks and and putting things down. What is that like for you? Because I mean, I'm so jealous of bands when they go in there as one unit. But you know, to sing with a track. I mean, it's like my eyes were always on the engineer, always asking that question: Was that right? Was that right? Yeah. No, I did. I kind of just listened when I was on the Mass Singer singing uh, Sinatra music as a taco. Um, you know, I actually had the tr I had to sing live in the little tomato head, but I actually had Sinatra's actual backup musicians who recorded the track uh, for that performance. And similarly with the Fred Rogers song, you know, I just listen to the music and, and sing along. I, you know, I knew Dennis would tell me if I if I was going too far afield. Yeah. What about the opportunity for Mr. Rogers to get into the Hall of Fame? Well, as Fred, wouldn't it? Or would we go as Mr. Rogers getting in there? Well, it's the same thing, really. Yeah, and I, you yeah. know, I mean, that's that's the one of the real uh, joys of this man was that what you saw was what you got. I, I had the pleasure of meeting him briefly in Boston when I worked in Boston TV and he was at the station. And I got to tell you, uh, it wasn't like he was putting on an act. That's that that gentle uh, soul 
who looked you right in the eyes. Mm -hmm. You know, you were the only person in the room when you were talking to him. That's that's who he really was. And Dennis has, has been spearheading, and I've been happy to put my name to it, a uh, uh, change.org petition to get yep. Fred in the Songwriters Hall of Fame because all of the songs for all of the years of that show, he wrote. Something like this deserves to have a, a video of some sort. In other words, a big special on Netflix or even on Hulu, because, I mean, I, it really does embrace something that a lot of people didn't realize. Fred was a songwriter. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And and a, a brilliant one at that. I mean, when you start deconstructing the lyrics of the types of songs he wrote to connect with children and to address really difficult topics like like death and divorce mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. assassination and racism uh you know he he did not shy away from difficult topics and and uh, he wrote amazing lyrics to address them wow tom you got to come back to this show anytime in the future the door is always going to be open for you thank you arrow i appreciate it it's a pleasure well you be brilliant today okay uh, i'll do my best you too <laughs> thank you sir <laughs>